drink. Believe it or not, some animals have adaptations that allow them to do just that. Have you ever noticed how animals come in all shapes, sizes and colours? These differences within a single species are called variations. Look at this group of rabbits. Some have brown fur, while others have white. Or you might see birds with long legs and others with short legs. These are all examples of variations. Now, some of these variations can be very helpful for survival. Let's think about animals living in a habitat with limited food. Animals with characteristics that make it easier to find food and capture it, like good eyesight or sharp claws, will have a better chance of surviving and reproducing. Over time, these useful variations become more common within the population. And this is because animals with these characteristics are more likely to live longer and have more offspring who also inherit these helpful characteristics. This process where helpful variations become more common is called natural selection. It's like nature selecting the characteristics that are most beneficial for survival and reproduction. Just like a gardener choosing the best plants to grow. But it's important to understand that these changes don't happen within one lifetime. It takes many, many generations, over many, many years, for natural selection to take place. You can learn the whole Key Stage 2 science video course. Every unit, every lesson, start now. Link in description.